Is it this angle? That angle? Or this angle? It's all about angle! Come on in! Yeah, Alright guys, so I don't know if you saw last week's Tech Tip Tuesday or a month ago's Tech Tip Tuesday. I don't know when they do these things. They bring me out of the dungeon like a trained monkey in the middle of the night to do these things. But today, we're gonna talk about handlebar angle. Because when you're going about your frame sizing, and you wanna know what top tube length should I ride, one of the most critical things is your handlebar angle. Typically, you want your handlebar angle set up to where it's comfortable for your frame size, but there's different variances because the way you have your handlebar angle set up and your stem length are very particular and very important on the way that you ride your bike. Are you a rider who likes to have your handlebar angle in line with your head tube? Do you like it more old school style, more vertical, or are you going Chicago? Don't go Chicago. I love Chicago pizza. I love Chicago. I love the Windy City, but I don't love my bar Chicago style. Bring them back. Get it in line with your head tube angle. This is gonna be an important thing. Part of why your frame sizing is critical because you want your bar angle to be proper so that you're getting the proper control. This is something that's super, super important. Like we said in the last video, you can fine tune how you've got it set up with your stem length. You can fine tune things with your bar height, your angle. You wanna try and always make sure you keep it between head tube angle and vertical. Don't go past vertical. If you're taking it past vertical, you're getting into the danger zone. Your handlebars have a bend back and a sweep. So your vertical angle on your bar is set so that when you have your handlebars leaned back, this is pretty much a flat plane. When you start to go much past vertical, you're gonna notice the ends of your bars are starting to sweep up. The more your bars are sweeping up, the more you're out of control. When you start to go forward, not only are your bars sweeping up like this, you have zero control on this. Now the front end of your bike, it's swoopy. You're putting the angle of the pressure on your wrist wrong. You need it to be in this type of a position so that you're pushing down. You're driving the force. So vertical to in line with your head tube angle. This is a critical adjustment. So guys, we are talking about the tr more traditional bar placement for modern day racing is more in line with your head tube angle and that more of an old school style is a little bit more vertical. But while we're talking about old school, check this out. Hey guys, so if you're down at Dirty Fest, you saw the factory team wearing these new retro jerseys that we did. You know, kind of cool ones like what Ray Luscombe had, you know, back in the day, but some cool black sleeves. This was special for Dirty Fest, Dirty Fest edition. So we weren't gonna sell these. These were just for team issue, team riders only. But everybody's been kind of going, hey, we really want one of these. And Mike Miranda was like, hey Bill, you know what would be kind of cool? We can do a limited edition run. We can put the Dirty Fest logo on it. So it'd be a commemorative. It'd be a special commemorative only from Dirty Fest. And you can get it with your name on it and get your number on it. So Cyber Horse, down here in Southern California, we're gonna do a limited edition run for 30 days. You can order your jersey, get your name, your number, your retro jersey. But you gotta get it, you gotta get it quick, cause once they're gone, they're gone. I know there's a lot of videos out there that talk about for the riding style and how you wanna get this done, but this is something that you really, really need to pay attention to. Since we're talking about angles, a couple things that we wanna talk about. When we were out at Dirty Fest, I was sitting there talking with Dr. Jason Richardson and we were talking about the way that a frame rides. And everybody talks about, they wanna know rider area. And in that frame fitment video, I talked about how the rider area is a false number because I can change it by raising or lowering the, lowering, raising or lowering the bottom bracket. And you wanna make sure that you've always got a good setup from where you're riding on your bike from the bottom bracket spindle to your bars. So you've got this 
positioning, always going to be the same measurement. Once you have that, you're going to be able to be set up. You also want it to be set up to where you don't have your seat mast angle pushing you too far forward so that this number gets shrank or get stretched out to where you're starting to put your cranks behind you in a driving position. That works for a road bike, and you'll notice a lot of road bikes have their seat mast angle pushed forward so that they're driving back. But as you're driving back in that position, you're losing the control. So you want your balance position on this bike off the bottom bracket so that you've got the cranks a little bit in front of your balance point so that when you're riding, you've got a good stable pocket that you're sitting down into on your bike. Now also, head tube angle. We've spoken about the head tube angle. Some bikes use a 73, some bikes are up to a 75. We use a 74.5 degree head tube angle on our bikes for the pro size and larger. And we do this, we found it's very comfortable. We also use a traditional 319 axle to crown measurement. This 319 axle to crown measurement gives you the proper rake and trail so that you've got a proper handling head tube. So this way it doesn't push in the turn, it doesn't crab going through the turn. It actually allows you to make the turn the way you need it to be and gives you that smooth app apex as you're going through the turn. Some forks now have dropped to a 305 axle to crown. By going to a 305 axle to crown, your head tube angle will automatically steepen. By having that head tube angle automatically steepen, your front tire gets tucked back under you a little bit more, bringing your bar positioning forward, which throws you more over the front of the bike, putting more weight on your front tire. Geometry, the angle on your bike, is very critical. When I used to race back in the day, I would always keep it about vertical, old school style. Part of the reason for that was back in the day, we didn't have a lot of frames that had a proper top tube length. So we were always trying to get as much extension on the frame as possible. So we were running as long of a stem as possible and we were pushing our bars as far forward as we could. Now the bars back in the day had a different bend and sweep. So that would allow that to be pulled back and be level with you. Once we started doing the 21 and a quarter top tube, we are able to bring the bars back in line with the head tube, which is the best way that you can have it set up to be. If you like Chicago style, if this is what you like, if this is what you've been cruising around your neighborhood on, go buy yourself a deep dish pizza, pull your bars back. Get to where you're in line with your head tube angle. Go vertical if you need to, but this style, don't do it. Cool for cruising the neighborhood, cool for going and picking up a pizza. This is where you want to race. So people will sometimes ask if I add a spacer under my stem and raise my bars up, will that affect the way that I want my bars to be placed in the rotation for my angle? And sometimes the answer is yes, sometimes the answer is no. You really need to find what's gonna be comfortable for you and make sure that you feel proper on the bike. Make sure that when you're riding, you're not putting too much weight to go back on your wrist. Make sure that you've got everything driving forward and that you're in a good power position for your wrist. You don't want your wrist to be coming back. All right, guys, I know it was a quick one today. I need to get home. I need some sleep. These days are killing me. They're finally bringing me out of the dungeon a little bit more. So guys, it's dark out now. I know you can't go to the track now, but it's gonna be daylight soon. The sun's gonna come out, and when it does, get to the track, go ride!